here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on gas laws. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Orgo Man books. I want to go over a really challenging problem that you're going to use for the DAT exam. This is going to challenge the best of students on the gas laws. So come on around and let's have a look. Now, in this problem, I say to you, we have a four gram sample of oxygen in a container and it exerts a certain pressure at 298 Kelvin. At what temperature will two grams of nitrogen gas exert at the same pressure in this very container? Now, where would I even start this? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna convert grams into moles. Don't worry about the numbers not being nice. On the actual dat exam, the numbers will be wonderful. So for this, don't worry about doing it with a calculator. Do it with a calculator. And just remember, for the destroyer as well as the ADA exam, the numbers will be wonderful. When you take 4 divided by 32, we come up with 0.125 moles of oxygen. You do the exact same thing. You convert the grams of nitrogen into moles. And we come up with 071. Now... If you remember, the ideal gas law says PV equals NRT. We're at the same pressure. So if we're at the same pressure and we're in the same container, that means that P and V are going to be constant. So what we got to do is we're going to focus on the N and the T. If we know the moles of one and we know the moles of another and we, we know the temperature of one of the component moles, we can find the other temperature. Anytime you have two variables on the same side of an equation, it means it's an indirect relationship. So I can say N1 over N2 is T2 over T1 because it's indirect. Or N, which stands for moles, the moles of oxygen divided by the moles of nitrogen is equal to the temperature of nitrogen over the temperature of oxygen. So what I did is I set up a ratio, but you had to understand that these two variables are indirectly proportional. If I was to compare, for example, V and N, it would be like N1 over N2 is V1 over V2 because they're directly related, but these are indirectly related. So go back, the moles of the oxygen is 0.125, the moles of the nitrogen is 071, we don't know the temperature. That's what I'm asking. At what temperature will the nitrogen be at? That's the T2. And then 298, which is the temperature of oxygen. I cross multiply 298 times 0.125 divided by 071. And that gives me my T2, which is 525 Kelvin. I hope this helped on giving you an idea of what I would consider a challenging, challenging question for the DAT exam. All right, that wraps this up. Bye-bye.